What is up guys, Derek the Novice Gamer coming back at you with a brand new gameplay walkthrough of Red Dead Redemption. Whoa, excuse me, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of all times, guys. I have played this through twice fully and am anticipatingly waiting for RDR2 to come out this spring, hopefully, unless Rockstar changes their mind and pushes it back even more, which would be okay because that just means they're perfecting it, so it's going to be a fucking kick-ass game. But anyway, I've been playing a lot of um, Skyrim, and I just finished Assassin's Creed Origins, so I wanted to play this game on my channel for a long time, so I just bought it and figured let's throw it up there as a whole series. Now, there might be a strange cut here, uh, because for some reason, um, I just digitally downloaded this, and I had it on disc uh, about a year and a half ago, and for some reason, it loaded up my last point I was at and I can't seem for it to get to a brand new game. So it's going to go right into Exodus in America after this weird cut. So guys, uh, I present to you Red Dead Redemption in its entirety. Love it and let's go. Exodus in America. Here we go. Try and be quiet for this intro, guys. God, I love this game, dude. Out of the way, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Get your bustling ass out of my way. Move it. There's John Marston. Good old Johnny getting off the boat, heading into town. Mr. Marston? Mommy, our trolley car has arrived. Brand new and welcoming from the shores of England. To the End of the way, kid, you punk. God, I love this game, dude. Look at that douchebag on the right. This way, partner. That's Blackwater. Really good graphics for the time this game was made as well, I think. Rockstar San Diego production, which made millions. Blackwater Station. It's where it all begins, my friend. You know what you need to do. God damn it. Bunch of assholes. Red Dead Redemption reminds me of a Quentin Tarantino intro, bro. All right, guys. I'm going to have to remember the controls on this. Art directors Darren Bader and George Davis. Technical director Ted Carson. <laughs> oh, Ted. Think about my goddamn yeah. life. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Oh my yes, God! They've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Sorry guys, I gotta fix the but music father, volume. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Yes, Delta. What I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought oh of it. Oh my god. Yes, oh, I, like animals. I never thought of it that way. They didn't live like animals. They were living fine. We came in and raped and pillaged the land from the Native Americans. If you don't know your history, we basically fucking ripped Not them and stripped it and put them in like father, fucking pens. America's disgusting we will sometimes. Be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. <laughs> You're wrong no, there, you buffoon. People can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so. That's <laughs> poppycock, Jenny. You silly girl. Apparently. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. 
Shut up, you old bag. Bonds. Yes, his family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state Shoot her in the face. ruled by such a disgusting family. A family. Well, you look like you're about half in the grave there, you leather bag face bitch. The Tom's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that we <coughs> can. Like what? Voters, though. Can't buy true happiness or true peace, in my opinion. You may think it can. You must remember, my dear, yes, what is that? We have been brought here to spread the word. Yes. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among it's people Bonham who McFarland. are and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. <sighs> well, you're not letting the natives so worship in peace. Father. You're Sometimes destroying them. I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Oh, thank you. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Oh, I'll be sure Armadillo. to ask you. <laughs> Armadillo train station. First city we, in, we arrive in is Armadillo. We are on the lookout for our old gang. We're supposed to wrestle them up for those two federal agents that sent us on the train from Blackwater. And here we are, guys. Yes, I know how to do the controls. Here we are, guys. We are in Armadillo, and we're starting out the game here. So let's... Uh... Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, fix some controls real quick. Sorry about that cut. But here we go. Yeah, I know what to do. Now, let me just trust my controllers. Out. Oh, there's my gun. I don't want to do that. Oh, God, get that in. Get that away. Okay. Okay, that's jump. Just testing out controllers, boys. Jump. A is run. Tap repeatedly. Okay. Here's our gun wheel. All right, that helps us. Okay. All right, that's... All right, that... Okay. Okay, put this away. Go to the saloon. All right, let's go to the saloon. Hey guys, how you doing? John Marston just got into town. How you doing, buddy? How are you? Whoa, whoa, hey bud, hey now, hey now. Jesus, calm down, buddy. Got anything to say to me? No, you don't. Okay. How you doing, ma'am? Pardon me, sir. Go fuck yourself. Okay, how you doing, buddy? How we doing? Okay, calm, calm down. Please, sir, I ain't done nothing to you. I know, calm down. I ain't doing nothing. Just John Marston here. So we're supposed to go to the saloon first, guys. So I'm going to try and do this a pretty straight playthrough. I usually get obsessed and want to walk around everywhere. Look at how beautiful this is, man. They really did a good job in this game. Whoa, whoa. You okay, bud? I don't feel too good. Yeah, I think you're drunk. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. There you go. There you go, buddy. Let's try and start a fight. Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, buddy. I would love to try that again. God damn it. All right, sorry, guys. I, I want to fight. Nope, it wasn't. All right, all right, let's stop, let's stop. Like I said before, I was gonna, I'm going to try and play a straight playthrough um, and not do too much... Exploring and stuff just because I don't want to make this a uh, 15 million hour game. So here we are going into the saloon Marston. Mr. Marston, over here. All right, buddy. Oh look at that little lass. He's got on his lap What's up old timer you must be John Marston sometimes I'm Jake your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. All right. I'll go with you, Jake, even though I've known you for two seconds. Hey, babe, you wait there. I'll be back in the morning. You ain't follow Jake to the horses. Follow Jake to the horses. All right, let's go to the horses. Hey, buddy, I'll come back for you later, pal. Okay? All righty, 
Mr. Marson, let's get. All right. Will do. If you say so. Take it slow on the way out of town. Use LS to move your horse. I already know how to control the horse. We're good. Wait up there, buddy. Jake, wait up. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. Overshot the mark. Uh, That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Well, you're taking me. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during a Mexican Joy War. Springs. All kinds of soldiers around back then. Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. Or God, this graphics are really good, guys, for this year that this was made. Look at this. You know how things is. I do. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Two well, crows. Like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Ah, it's Those good to be back in Red Dead Redemption, guys. I love this game. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he but I am. ...for a long time. All right, Frank, show me where we're going here, buddy. We're going to Fort Mercer. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, That's you can you do think. a lot worse than armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they I'm are. I'm very thanks, like buddy. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. Yo, I'm a married pervert. man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> oh my god. No, we all aren't. I am not married, and I actually don't know if I actually ever want to be. Ee -wee. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. That's right, it's none of your business. Just take me to Fort Mercer, you old bag. Yeah, All right, yeah. guys, we're going to be seeing a lot of this country. We'll, we'll get a new you horse, ain't really too. You talking to him, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now, Mr. Marston. All right, focusing on the coyotes. Yeah, I remember this landscape, my friend. Mexico is just right down the way, right over there, right past Fort Mercer. If you go down that road to oh, uh, Mexico, oh shit! Listen, Mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> The fuck are you laughing at, pal? I need to stop cussing so much in my videos, bro. You know what? No, I like swearing. It's who I am. Okay. Hold on, let me take a drink of uh, Mount Monster. Pro for approach Fort Mercer. Oh, I will. You want to ride a horsey? We might be approaching our certain death here. Bill Williamson and the rest of the gang are in here. Actually, it's just Bill Williamson. So basically, if you guys have never played Red Dead Redemption, the story of this is John Marston uh, had a life of crime in a gang, got taken in by this guy named Dutch, basically raised him. Uh, he got out of the life. The government hired him to go back and kill off the rest of his old gang. And in turn, they would let him free and drop all charges, and he'd be able to start a farm with his family. And this is where we're starting, right here. Bill Williamson, you old son of a bitch, how you doing, you codger? Mmm. I don't like the looks of that goddamn torch. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Jeez, all right, all right. Just hold on, Johnny. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. Well, 
That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? I know. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me? Yes. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> it means beg or plead with you. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! Of two men. Great. Good for you, Bill. You're Dutch! And no more you. <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back it's and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Ooh, well, quick enough on the draw there, Johnny. Ah, quick enough on the draw there, Johnny. God, that was kind of a slow fucking draw, like fucking mud. Trying to pull a fucking stick out of quicksand. What a better shot than that, Marston. Ma'am, there's a dead man on the ground here. Oh, fine, I won't eat him today. I'll let you have the delicious meat I was going to eat. Now, my question is, why wouldn't they still be looking over the wall and... Or why wouldn't they make sure that John's dead by putting a couple extra rounds in him while he fell to the ground and then shoot these two? We wouldn't have a video game if they did that, so... It's good old Bonnie McFarlane running hill. Get him up in the carriage. Yeah, he, he, they would have made sure he was dead in real life. Saving! New friends, old problems. First part's a lot of cutscenes, guys. Not a lot of playing. Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? None of your I business. Was... What oh. I was doing. I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. Well, I didn't ask I'm you to. Sorry, Madam. I didn't ask you to pick me she up. Left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mister? Er, Mister uh, Marston, John Marston. Bonnie McFarland, Miss Bonnie McFarland. Ooh, okay. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh... What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Well, excuse me. Course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. Uh, no, I have to get out of here. We wasted on doctor's bills. Okay. Of course. Once again, I thank did. Thank you. Yes, thank you. For saving my life. Uh huh. Next time, Mr. Marston, okay. I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Stop for a second. I didn't right, ask you to pick. I didn't ask you to pick me up and pay money for me. That was your choice, so don't try and lay a guilt trip on me, Bonnie McFarlane. You bitch. Jesus. All right, join Bonnie. All right. Bonnie is on your map. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, guys, here's the map. Uh, whoops. Sorry. 
Okay, so here's our selection screen. We got weapons. As you can see, we don't have We have two, a knife and a revolver, a uh, cattleman revolver. Um, here's the map. So here we are. Not too big of a map, but here's Mexico down in here. And here we are. There's a the train. And our money's up in the corner. Hi, how are you? You cooking some stew? Can I get some of that? Let me get a taste. I'm not going to apologize for anything. You ran into me, bitch. Stew is terrible, by the way. You got to learn how to cook a little bit better. Throw a little paprika in that next time. Okay, hey, how you doing, bud? Craft me something? Is this a crafting table? How you doing? Doing all right? Uh, hello there. Hello. Hello. Right, let's go see Bonnie. As you can see, I'm pretty. Uh, looks like they bandaged me up pretty good. I'm, I'm bleeding. Still bleeding out of the bandage there, Miss McFarlane. I probably have gangrene and uh, a lung infection, but thank you anyway. Hey, Bonnie, how Mr. you doing? Marston, yes. Back in the land of the living, I see. Uh, you just figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. All right, horses are saddled up over here, guys. I don't know how the sound is sounding on this. I think my voice. Hold B to focus on important people and places in advance. Yes, I know There's that. The office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy <laughs> enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride them. Oh boy. Oh, here's the war horse. Boom. Oh shit, I keep pressing A inside a mount. Come on then. You I'll show you around the property. Alrighty. Lead the way there, baby. Then you can strip off and show me in your goddamn undergarments. Oh, you can hold it. I know that. I know that. Let's go. Alright, here we go, guys. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. Store. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Every town has its own store. What are you talking about, Marston? You bastard. Howdy, sir. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. <laughs> now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. You know what? I suggest you judging me, okay, babe? That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Yeah, Bringing but... in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Oh, good. That's such a bad thing. Change is only good when it makes things better. So what are you saying? I make things worse? I mean, come on, Whoa. Bonnie McFarlane. Look at me holding my side, man. The real... It's really good. They even add that little touch. It's nice. After... That's the barn over there. Uh -huh. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Oh, good for Paul. I bet you it took him a quite a long spell to build that barn there. All right. And here we are, back at the house. All Let's right. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Head out on patrol. I never said I was going to head out on patrol with you. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna head on patrol with you. Quit signing me up for shit. For? Come on, I don't fight. Well, I'd be kind of nice if you did. Ho! See if I could jump the fence. I can hurdle it. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Absolutely. Hey, Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. But I got other things to worry about. I got to round up these uh, fucking bandits. My old gangsters. And uh, get Marston. back... Mr. Oh, okay. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Yes. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Oh, God. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. Look, babe. It's a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not getting sexual yet, Mc Miss McFarlane, okay? Well, I will come when I want to come. Okay, Ready, bad joke, Marshall? bad joke. Repeater carbine. All right, I'll mount up with you. Let's go. Mount your horse. 
Well, I'll mount my horse, all right. Why? Why? I, I always want to press A, because I think A was what Assassin's Creed was to get in the horse. Right, let's go. Let's go. Keep your eyes open, and try not to get yourself shot again. Well, I won't, because hopefully there's nobody here that's going to shoot me. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. Look at this atmosphere, I feel man. This is... Now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. And your body. Whoa. All right, here we go. All right, so they're going to show us how to do a little dead eye, I believe, uh, in this part. Um, so I have played this game two times through about a year ago, uh, and I God loved... God damn it, these Whoa. rabbits are at it again. God Come on, damn let's it. get rid of them once and for all. All right, sure, we'll do it. Come on, man. Put that Boom. Of yours oh yeah. That's it. Kill those nice shooting. Thank you. Get him. Yeah, you Oh god, come on. Sorry guys, my I don't know what my controller is doing here. Hey, you shouldn't have walked you should Let's just walk right in the line of fire of my rifle. Oh, shooting right over her head, dude. Oh, what you got over there? If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. Yeah, it ain't well. never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Nah, she don't want to do that. She ain't that kind of lady. Look she out. Don't. Coyote. Shoot. Uh, where? The oh, there they are. All right, all right, guys, here we go. This could get a little, could get a little mathy here. Oh, I went the wrong way, guys. Uh, all right, let's go. Come here, coyote. Boom, bitch. Gotcha. One shot. Oh, we got more. We got more. More over here. Gotcha. Oh, I got two. Got four, actually. Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. Oh, will you? Hey, right, Bonnie, let's go. So if you double tap X, it makes the horse jump. I didn't realize that. Oh. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's yes, I was in. I've had a little experience in. Okay. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. God, I love this game, man. I fucking really love this game. This here is gonna be are. a blast. Oh. It's gonna be a blast playing this with you guys. Only if one or two people watch, I don't really care. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. What, Miss McFarlane? What makes you think I'm going to be here in the morning? Okay, you can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Okay. I already know all this stuff. If you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. So and it also refills all your ammo as well. well duh, that's what extra ammo Current Dead Eye level 1 and 3, my fame is 150. General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory are allow you to buy new weapons, restock on ammunition, or purchase potent uh, portables. Some people even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. Okay, so. So basically, um, every town you go in, you can also purchase your own little condominium, your own little apartment, your own little place to live. It has a bed, it has a dresser, and it has an ammo box. Um, so here, uh, changing outfits is uh, right over here. Sorry. So we can see if we only have one out. Oh, we have two outfits. We have gentleman's attire and we have a cowboy outfit. Here's our main menu right there. And let us go ahead and open the container here. We'll show you this, which I'm sure everybody knows. So my revolver ammo got refilled and repeater ammo got refilled as well. Um, so guys, uh, I think this is a good place to stop the first video. 
Uh, we're going to stop right here. When we get back, we'll take a rest, wake up fresh in the morning, continue a couple more things with Miss McFarlane, including a horse race, I believe. But uh, if you guys enjoyed that video, um, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed or just recently subscribed, don't forget to also smash that bell notification icon to the right-hand side of the subscribe button so that you will get notified of all new videos and content that go up on my channel so you won't miss a thing. Guys, I'm excited out of my ass to play this game for you and to have you with me, even if there's just one or two people that watch it. Ah, I play because I love video games. Uh, so guys, like I always say, wherever you're at in this big, bright, beautiful world, whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're doing what you want to be doing for your life and are happy. And if you're not, make it so. So when we come back, we will join Mr. Marston in the morning and continue to see how the relationship with him, Miss McFarlane, and the ranch goes. John, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I just want to find Bill Williamson in Dutch and fucking get this over with and get back to my wife so I can get my dick wet. <laughs> well, John, and the video, partner. All right, all right. So guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.